<laughs> Misfits has been, yeah, it's been a, a bit of a trip. It's, it's been amazing. It's like, it's just so full on. Um, I mean, if, if you watch it, it's just, there's just always something going on. So there's stunts and, you know, sex scenes and just, it's just really fast and furious. Um, and the other four have, are just amazing. So there's always loads and loads of banter and loads of teasing of, of directors and stuff and throwing things and just having fun. Lots of songs and dances. But um, it's just been amazing. It's like it's a really great character to play. Um, he's fun. He's very different from me, so it's it's kind of a stretch, which is which is healthy to kind of keep doing that. But um, yeah, it's funny. There's there's just so many jokes. There's so many jokes. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, if you've ever been on set with Robert Sheehan and Lauren Soccer at the same time, um, that's a treat. My life hasn't really changed that much. I. I don't know, I'm, I'm here, I'm doing this, so I suppose I wouldn't be doing this beforehand. But um, it hasn't changed a great deal. I think besides like being on the side of a bus, that was a bit different. That was that was strange. And obviously you get recognised more and, and, that, and that stuff goes hand in hand with a show like this. But generally I, I turn my laces, I cook my dinner, I take out my rubbish. So it's pretty much the same. Um, Curtis is really... He's very, he's very determined and very driven and he's, he has a sense of pride which I would share with him. I, I share those things. I'm quite determined and driven. There's something quite steely about him and I have that as well. But um, I'm just less, less serious. He's, really, he's a really serious guy and he takes himself very seriously and I don't take myself as seriously as he does. But he's real, he's real steely so I think those are the things. I'm a, I, I can run. I can fast run <laughs> too. Um, I think members of my family would have influenced me most of all to become an actor. One of my cousins went to the Brit school um, and I kind of followed suit and it kind of went from there and she, she studied theatre and I went to study theatre. Um, but I suppose watching a lot of movies when I was a kid, um, big Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, all of those, those American 80s films kind of made me want to, want to, want to do it. I wanted to be shrunk and then lost in grass. I wouldn't say that I preferred um, either either of those me mediums or any of those mediums. I think it's really different as an actor what what you do on on film and what you do on stage is it it really does depend. I mean, it's always based in truth, but you can't really say what your favourite is. Um, there's a lot of a lot of theatre. You have a lot of freedom as an actor. Um, obviously, you're not edited, so you um, you can kind of run with things and the story goes from beginning to end without stopping. Whereas the film. You can get edited, you can get left on the cutting room floor, but you can, yeah, you can get edited, and it's really a director's medium. But um, I think it's more about the characters and the story that really, really fuel you, so if those things are good, then either. This is a hard one because the list is really, really long. I mean, um, Francois Ozon um, is, is amazing, um, Hanukkah is amazing. Um, We've got Von Trier. I'm going to say it anyway, even though I may not be allowed to say it. But he is a great director, so I'm going to I'm going to put that on, out there. Wes Anderson. The, the list goes on. The Coen Brothers. I mean, there's a few British directors that are doing amazing things at the moment. Um, Joanna Hogg and Joe Wright are, are two of them. I think that are, are pretty amazing. Um, just that her style, Joanna Hogg's style, but the way she does things, I, I'm quite interested in that. It's very very subtle. But on Almodova, which is not Almodova because um, I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time, so it's Almodova. And yeah, I just thought of someone I should have said. And the direct one. I wonder what it's Spike Lee as well. <laughs> uh, right, so actors, um, which is really hard. I was I watched Blue Valentine earlier this year, and, and Ryan Gosling and Michelle Williams, just within themselves, are just two people that would be great to work with. The whole, whole way they worked in that film was amazing. Um, he is pretty amazing in, in everything he's in. Um, I don't know, some of the, the greats though, really. You know, Dustin Hoffman. Um, I, I like Jeff Goldblum, is that, you know, that's, that's great. Some of the, some of the greats, Glenn Close, you know, the Meryl Streep, these people are top. De Niro, and then you've got like the new range of British guys that are, but I suppose that at my age that I haven't yet worked with, you've got the Eddie Redmaynes and the Tom Hiddleston, so it'd be good to kind of do something with people that are my own age and, and, and within, and from Britain. But yeah, the, you want to work with the greats, 
and perhaps some people on the in theatre. Hayley Atwell's great as well. Um, yeah, I've worked um, for, um, for Rankin, um, his production company, on a film called Will You Marry Me? And the director was called David Allen. Um, it was really, really cool working in his offices. They're so slick. It's, everything's really white and a lot of glass and stuff. And it was, it was really, really amazing. Um, and it's about a character, it's about a radio prank, really. Um, and a guy plays a, a prank on his ex-girlfriend. Um, and it kind of goes wrong. Um, but I didn't, I didn't meet Rankin, actually. He was in L.A. His wife... Um, a woman called Tully was in, in it, she was playing my ex-girlfriend, but I didn't meet him, so um, pending, or pending. Um, the Comedian is, well it's a hard film to talk about because it's, it was completely improvised. We, um, we had like three months, or I suppose even four months, of improvising and rehearsing with the director um, um, and all the, all the cast there. And then we shot the film, and it just, I think it was just under four weeks, it was quite a short period of time. But because of that, um, and because it's improvised, and because of this level of secrecy, no one knows what the film's about. So um, it's at the moment, I think they're still editing it, but at the moment we, we kind of know that it's about a comedian and he has a complete, complete breakdown. Um, it's quite dark, all of my stuff was at night, but um, yeah, we don't know, we don't know what it's about as of yet. But it was, re it was really cool, the process was really amazing, um, and there were levels, we just were very free, lots of things got broken. I've just, I've just started Misfits at the moment and the comedian's in the edit, so nothing so far because we've got five, five months to go. But um, I think afterwards we're going to try and get some good theatre in. Um, I know that um, Dominic Cook is directing a comedy of errors at the National, so I'm pretty, pretty interested in that. But some theatre would be really good because I haven't done that play for a couple of years. Some good London stage time. Or Broadway.